Welcome to Real Satisfied. This video will introduce you to the broker dashboard. To gain access to the demo broker dashboard we're using in this video, click on the demo link under How It Works from our public website. Once inside, take a few moments to look around. You can't break anything on our demo account, so click away and explore. Now, that said, there are a few areas we want you to pay specific attention to. Access to many of your personal details, like your email greeting and phone numbers, will be available for edit right from the main page of the dashboard. In addition, if you're also an agent, you'll have the ability to enter your own agent dashboard from the same login. If you access your account using an email and password, you'll want to personalize your temporary password immediately upon entering your account. The home page of your broker dashboard provides some quick insights into your team's performance. If you have access to multiple offices, this dashboard will represent a roll-up of all of the data for those offices, and your leaderboard will show offices. To get to any individual office, click on the pull-down menu below the main tab bar. This will take you to any individual office you have administrative rights to access. If you only have admin access to a single office, this will be your main dashboard view, and your leaderboard will consist of a list of agents in your office. You can sort by any field in this table. At the office level, you will also notice a section for social sharing. These are the last five social shares from agents in this office, but there is a public link that gives you access to social shares further back in history as well. The main menu areas of the dashboard are Invitations, Reports, Admin, and Support. To begin your tour, first click on the Admin area. When you get your official login, this will be one of the first places you'll want to visit. Many of the functions you may want to perform are managed from this area, including control of your office details, logo, phone number, and managing adding sales associates, agents, and account administrators, which is done via the Team Members tab and editing individual notification options. The Team Members tab gives you full control over agent and administrator access privileges. These include functional access, like whether someone can send survey invitations, data access, what data someone can see, and the ability to determine who is admin only and who needs to be an escalation contact, which is someone who manages customer complaints received from completed surveys. Click on the links below each section for further details. Click on the Notification Options tab and you'll see that you'll be able to easily set specific survey notifications for anyone who has accounts on our system. The Invitations area is where you'll go if you wish to manually send a survey on behalf of one of your agents. This tab is called Invitations because we're sending invites to consumers to take a survey. By default, agents will not have the ability to send their own buyer and seller survey invitations, and we suggest that brokers manage this process either via an office administrator or via integrating with our API, either directly or through one of our integration partners. This is also where you'll go if you want to check on the status of a survey or take action on system alerts specific to surveys, like bounced emails, for example. Play around with the various filters to see what they do, and notice that creating survey invitations is a very simple process requiring very little information. In some cases, you may also have an Integrations tab in your admin account. This will be available only if you have enabled a transaction management integration we have built into our platform. Finally, go play around with some sample reports like the Marketing Sources report. You'll be able to see in this demo account that once your office has collected enough data, these will be valuable tools that will help you evaluate the performance of your brand and other aspects of your customer service. There are more than 80 reports you can run on our platform. Again, when you get your official access, you'll want to immediately log in to your actual dashboard to personalize your password, edit your personal notification options, 
and check the admin access privileges for anyone else who may have been identified as an admin for your office. And if you have any questions, remember, help is just a click away.